Back our What It Takes series continues tonight, and this time we take it to the sky. News 18's Cody Malin caught up with Purdue Aviation to learn what it takes to be a flight instructor. Seeing the sun glint off of ross Aid Stadium to being able to see the bell tower, which we'll see later. Aviation is a large part of Purdue University's history. It really is something that reminds me of why I really stuck with Purdue and why I like to continue to come back here. Adam Dunham now works as a certified flight instructor with Purdue Aviation. He's responsible for getting the next generation of pilots off the ground and in the air. The best part of the job is the first time you send a student solo. Uh, you get out of the plane and then they go and take off by themselves and you just watching from the ground and seeing that, that their destiny is really in their own hands from what you're teaching. However, a lot of hard work and long hours go into getting a student ready to fly. It all starts with the flight pre-checks. This is my favorite part. This is when you're going to look like a cool pilot. And I'm basically making sure that all the screws are in place. This is our elevator, just like a normal elevator in an apartment building would do. Takes you up, takes you down. It's a lot of work, but it's necessary before taking hopeful students in the air. So pretty much the whole purpose of the exterior flight check uh, is to make sure the plane itself uh, is, is, is in a safe condition to fly. After checking off the final items on the list, News 18's Ryan Delaney and I were ready to be airborne. You guys all set? I think so. All right. Once getting cleared for takeoff. I'm staring down the runway for the first time is pretty, it can be a little intimidating for some people, but it's, 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 your, it's your access to the world. Dunham took us in the air and over Purdue's campus. Yeah, that's uh, a lot going on, right? Yeah. <laughs> so on our left is the campus. You'll be able to see the bell tower pull up right. There you can see the stadium as well. We continued our flight following I-65 from over 3,500 feet up in the air. Even though we're flying at 55 knots indicated, our ground speed or speed above the ground is 44 knots. Just lower than somebody driving on the highway. Now after getting comfortable in the sky... I'll fly an airplane? Dunham trusted me with taking the reins of our aircraft, Vader 91. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to let go of the controls, and you're going to go ahead and grab this, and all you have to do is focus on keeping that fist on the horizon. Once I was used to the controls, Dunham taught me a few basic maneuvers. I want you to go ahead and track that road, which means you're going to wait till we get over it, you're going to turn, and then you're going to let off over it. We continued our flight with reassurance and advice from Dunham. However, once it was time to land, well, I let Dunham do that hard work. No judgments if my landing isn't that soft today. This is the time we fly with only one other person. After landing back at Purdue's airport, Dunham drove us back to the hangar in style. That's what I like to do on warm days. Makes you feel cool. Back at the hangar, it was time for us to head out and for Dunham to take his next student out for a flight, this time to South Bend. Something he says is a rewarding experience. Yeah, fo follow your dreams. Um, the aviation uh, path can be one that's challenging but super rewarding. And um, being able to interact with a metal machine and be one with the plane and your movements is a feeling that, that no other career, I think, can really match. Reporting in West Lafayette, Cody Malin, News 18. Looks like a lot of fun. As always, News 18 is looking for new and unique jobs to try out. If you have an idea on what Cody should try next, send him an email with your suggestion to cody.malin at wlfi.com.